Hello. <laughs> nice summer. So I've been absent uh, quite a lot. So I feel that since I haven't been able to do any lives on Friday, I just wanted to peek in with an upload to, you know, just uh, touch ground and say that I'm still here. Well, I got a friend who's absolutely stoked about this uh, page in my uh, sketchbook. Um, he likes the texture of it, and he uh, asked if I could do it on a canvas instead of, you know, because uh, as you can see, I got other things painted on the other side of this one. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, think back how I did this uh, with the texture and everything, the colors, and see if I can redo something similar to it. This image right here of the fairy is actually from Fitzgerald, one of his artworks. So I'm not quite sure if I should copy that completely. I should alter it a little bit. Well, we'll see. We'll see when I get there. <laughs> so that's my schedule today to try and prep the canvas and see. Yeah. So I just took a canvas. And did a lot of crazy stencil with the texture paste, scratched on it, made a, a mess and uh, completely, you know, messed up my footage. <laughs> Today is like really a crazy day. Uh, everything is not going as planned today, so no wonder that I messed up that footage. Okay, I wanted to clean up my computer because suddenly it said that it was low on storage. And then I actually, by mistake, deleted the, the last recording. <laughs> so I got the intro <laughs> and then I'm just going to pick it up from, from now on. So, yeah. Yeah, but oh my god, this is one of those days where everything you planned is not going exactly as you want them to go. This is the second coat of, uh, I'm using acrylic paint, I'm using a brand called Vallejo, and I think it's uh, Spanish, maybe? And it's Acrylic Artistic Color Extra Fine Paints Gray, so it's not like black, you know? It's got that um, bluish tone to it, I like that a lot, but because of all the texture paste and the stencil work, there are these white spots that are peeking through so I'm just uh, doing that final coat to it here it looked completely covered when I did the first coat but during the drying process it's like the acrylic is drying um, pulling itself together so it reveals these tiny specks of white so I'm basically just uh, mending those specks. But yeah, we started out this day with an in enormous long hike. <laughs> we kind of almost got lost in this big, big forest that we went to. After my son got his car, we are really getting around. I'm telling you guys, it's really awesome. It's like a renewed found freedom. So we drove to this infamous place where they are selling ice cream and uh, then we took a walk in a really huge forest and kind of lost our sense of direction. So we walked and walked and walked uh, to the point where, you know, where it's getting like a little bit scary because you get tired and dehydrated and you don't see any proof of life uh, during your walk, so you kind of get insecure whether are you ever, ever going to get out of this forest. So, yeah, I did some footage of our long walk today. So I'm totally exhausted and my feet are swallowed up. So lucky me, I can sit down and... Uh, just spent the rest of the day in this chair, <laughs> resting up. So, 
Yeah, but I think I kind of caught all the small specks of white here and there. I totally like the texture on this. It looks witch when I look at it, like like 3D. Um, so now comes the fine uh, pencil work, with brush work, where you need to brush on the strokes that give you the imagination of foliage and whatnot, flowers. So, yeah. Oh man, I really hope that <laughs> this is going to turn out okay. I did not cover that much here because that's like where the, I think the face of the fairy is going to be, so it's going to be like a little bit illuminated. It's going to be lovely, lovely. Okay, but let me show you some footage of our totally insane hike the hike from hell to and from civilization <laughs> Det var sådan en uendelig skov. Åh, oh, kan I se, der er vejskilte? Der er vejskilte. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hvad er det der hesteskoven? Hesteskoven. Det er sikkert sådan en gammel vejskilt, tror jeg. Jeg tror, det er det. Det er sådan noget gedder at gøre. Jeg skal lige tage flotter ned. Fordi det er så... Og vi vil synge stenen. Juhu! Det er så skovligt. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I remember that I used these lovely, lovely paints called Color Shift, gifted to me from Kathy Berg. And uh, they shift color when they are on a dark background. So I think that I need to make some paint gray stripes in order to push back the head of the fairy <laughs> because if I just uh, use white in this area and paint the fairy and everything then when I come on top of that with the color shift it will not have the same color as you know as the background I think I think that's how I did it actually I'm not quite sure I can see I have some motion going here with the strokes from the palette knife. So I'm just gonna try and follow those as being some kind of straws. Yeah, did you guys enjoy the footage from my uh, forest hike? You <laughs> my poor hobby, he was wearing these like flip flop leather sandals. <laughs> He's Beat, man they were like totally beat up he was like losing energy <laughs> but we had like a GPS on the phone and there was this um, giant stone it is a, it's a glacier stone from uh, the Viking age so that was the only like uh, a na natural mark you could call it that was the uh, lit up on the GPS so when we found that infamous Viking stone we kind of got back our sense of uh, direction and found our way out of the forest <laughs> oh man oh I got something else to show you about the Viking glacier stones 
you know they're here on Sealand, the island that I live on, because um, this island used to be totally covered with glaciers. So these big ruffles, boulders actually of, of stone, has been carried with the glacier throughout the landscape of this island that I lived in, live in. And there's one of them that is like enlightened with fluorescent light, and we visit that recently. <laughs> I hope you won't get scared, but I'm telling you guys, you know what? When you put your face on uh, uh, this uh, fluorescent light, it will reveal your um, your teeth to be like totally white. And uh, the way we found out was that. My hubby was, I don't know if you can see this picture, it's probably really bad, but it's a picture of me where you can actually see the white teeth, right? Yeah, and then because that was funny, we took more pictures. This is my face, <laughs> looking like a zombie, and it is so hilarious because you can see all my skin disorder, you know, like my skin damage glowing up like that. Oh my god, it cracked me up so much. And my hubby, he looks like the most creepy zombie with blue eyes and everything. <laughs> it was so hilarious. I also got like blue eyes on this one. Oh man, it was so funny. Yeah, I don't know. We've been around. It's summer, so we take trips. It's really, really nice. I should start putting in some green. Maybe I should go like red and violet first and dot in the flower areas. I got this color shift uh, gloss finish purple flash and then I also got maybe pink is a little bit too much. So if I go like purple and then some of this red tone called raspberry flash maybe I can start building up something that looks like flowers. I'm not really sure this is how I did it, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, it's almost empty. These are such fun paints. I think I just want to tap and with light strokes, circular motions, let the brush catch whatever it can on the surface of the canvas. And of course it's going to look a little bit strange, you know, like here and there, but the collective look of it should come off beautiful. <laughs> So, it's like a layering process. Totally getting flashed out by the camera. You probably are not going to see that much close up over here maybe <coughs> I'm using a stiff hawk's hair brush for it's a brush set that I bought for acrylic paint to use with acrylic paint oh my god can't really speak today and because the bristles are so stiff they just brush over the top of the texture paste making it easier to give it this really just like small application. Now for the pink, it's going to be exciting how it looks on the dark surface. Not the pink, the um, 
purple. Not sure I like it, you know, the purple purple. Mm -hmm. What if I mix a little bit of red into the purple? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, if you're going to do this, try and mix some of the red into the purple and then you'll get like a burgundy, a more exciting, <laughs> a more exciting color than just a convenient mix. So I just feel so bad to tell you guys um, that there will be two days, two Fridays in next month where I'm not able to stream. One of them is because we have this passport to Tivoli so we can go to the rock concerts on Friday and the 22nd in next month Tom Jones is visiting Copenhagen. I cannot say no to that. <laughs> So we're going to the Tom Jones concert on a Friday and um, the 11th I think it's a Danish artist called Mess Langer. We also want to uh, listen to that rock concert. So uh, I'm in this strange situation where I actually should uh, announce like a, a summer break from my regular streaming schedule because I know I will not be able to keep it up so I'm just gonna announce here on now on this stream that I I may be like totally irregular next month also and it's because those uh, concerts in Tivoli it's called Friday Rock because it's a rock concert on Friday um, and they're not admitting, back in the old days, they just uh, opened the gate and whoever got in before the maximum amount was uh, achieved, then they closed the gate. But this time, they uh, you have to reserve a seating. So we already went online and reserved our tickets. So... Uh, we, we kind of know <laughs> that's where we are that day, you know. <laughs> but back in the old days where we just stood in line and if we got in, we got in. If not, then we just went home. I wasn't sure whether, you know, we were at a concert or not. But because we have reservations, I'm pretty, pretty sure I can say with certainty that I'm not home that day to stream. So I think what I'll do for this summer is that I'm just going to do some uploads like today and just checking in with you guys, see what I'm working at with at that moment. Okay, I should just shift color now, I think. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I could predict the future. I messed up. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. I messed it up. So now I uh, took on an, ap an apron. Yeah. Uh, I predicted the future. Okay. But I did squeeze them out. So now I'm looking for places in my um, texture paint that could look like a leaf. And I'm thinking this right here could. So now I am searching for something that I can turn into a leaf pattern. So instead of going in circular motions, I am trying to Can it call can you call it a leaf motion? <laughs> I don't think it's you can. I'm trying to Paint the shape of a leaf. And we got these stems also that I can put in. Yeah, 
I'm a little bit insecure because it's like super bright super super bright leaf color so I should use it sparingly because um, it might even represent to be like a highlight cover co cover highlight color in this could you say piece so um, I will try not to overdo it I'll try mix mix it up with the green and see what shade I get yeah better 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 something a little bit more pushed back so yeah I think that holding my breath doesn't make it uh, easier <laughs> so maybe I should try and breathe <laughs> I have not worked with acrylic for quite a while so suddenly I feel totally insecure does that happen to you guys also like if you haven't touched some sort like your gel plate for instance if, if you haven't jelly plate printed for quite a while then suddenly you when you, your hands are all prudent and into it you become insecure with that what not now what now what so um maybe i should just try and breathe relax and then totally expect uh, that my my lena energy <laughs> will help me paint the rest I paint the best when I'm like super spontaneous you know when I don't feel pressured or have to perform that's um, it, it just becomes more like organic and um, intuitive when I just uh, let go and loosen up a little bit so maybe I should try and not overthink this and it is so crazy how can you overthink a process like this it looks so chaotic you know like how can you do anything wrong <laughs> But uh, what's going through my mind is more like composition, like the strokes, because I want the strokes to be uh, pulling your eye towards this area here. And then yet I got something inside my brain telling me that I don't need to think like that because I got it enlightened in, um, in a, a, a different hue here. Yeah, just if you wanted to know what's going through my, through my head right now. I actually think that I should come in with more flower uh, look-alike colors I should actually totally try out that pink one and see how that looks so let me squeeze out some of that pink just for fun Oi, oh did you see that Oh my god, it's so liquid. <coughs> but now I've got my apron on, so <laughs> just hit me with that color. Okay, let's find a flower somewhere, somewhere. Here is a flower. And here could be a flower. And this could be a small flower. What's different about this painting and others that I have worked on is that this got a very dark starting point. Sometimes it's fun to use the black gesso and then give yourself that dark starting point. 
instead of just the white. Okay, thanks God I'm not live because <laughs> I feel like my head is scattered in a thousand places right now. But yeah, I didn't stream on this Friday because I was at the beach. My hubby, he wants to learn how to surf. Oh, he is so brave. Oh my God. I totally envy his uh, gusto when he uh, wants to investigate a new a new thingy. So um, I went with him uh, to this beach where he was surfing. I was standing on the shoreline. Just watching him, and it was so windy that day. So when we approached the lake, I was I saw other surfers and how they got speed up, you know, like carried away so fast. And I'm thinking, oh my god, he's gonna be lost at sea. But he actually did so well. I'm so proud of him. He's very sporty, you know, like outgoing. So I kind of feel like he's, uh, I don't know, he just reminds me of this, this person who refused to get old, you know? <laughs> so sometimes, uh, I just, he just um, sometimes reminds me of this, this, you know, like forever young kind of guy. Okay, I'm taking a look at it now. It's like it needs something to collect it all. Um, I'm not quite sure what that should be. I need something to collect it all. Uh, let me think. Let me turn off the camera and think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I need a color. So I'm picking up the... It's like a black flash. And then I'm gonna, with a very wide brush, try just random, trying to coat it in. The kind of fun thing about this painting is that since we started with that dark background, I can always redo it and come back to the dark background by simply just coating it with paint gray. <laughs> so the ma it doesn't matter what I do, I can uh, undo it, which is uh, suddenly it just hit me that, hey, I can't, I can't really do anything wrong with this because I can undo it and push it back to where it was before I started adding all this uh, shimmery paint. One of the crazy thing about working with this shimmer paint is that it, it suddenly like takes over, you know what I mean? Like it, it's very easy for it to become too much. Like up here I kind of killed that area there so I need to go back with some of the green up there. So. Let me do that as an approach, just back and forth, pushing until I kind of feel that I get a collective look. So now I'm going to come and push back some of the green. And I mean push back because I'm working on top of that wet dark gloss so it will be like a different color right there also down here
yeah now we're painting before I, d I didn't feel that I was painting before I felt that I was like insecure didn't know where to hit things it felt a little bit random but now I feel that I am more in control <laughs> if it make any sense now I know what I want isn't that what I wanted to say Oh, you shoot. Let's get more of these flowers in. Yeah, it's definitely going to be like a layering process must be so tedious for you guys to watch maybe I should just uh, turn off the camera and then turn on the camera when I'm satisfied with my background and start working on the face of the fairy because Lord knows where my mind takes me if my mouth is just allowed to run just to fill out a silent void. Oh, here I would like something too. So, yeah. Let me turn off the camera and then turn it back on when I feel that I am finished with this background. Okay, so I think I'm gonna paint the face of the fairy just with gesso. <laughs> Not that fancy. So uh, I got myself my uh, gesso. <coughs> and I am thinking that I should do it right here and then let the wings come up here. So let me just try and sketch out the outline of the face. I'm thinking like forehead here, the chin, hmm. got a little bit more rounded face maybe, and then we have like a neck. <coughs> and if we can imagine that the shoulders are coming, connecting to the body, it's like very <coughs> faint. So I'm gonna almost let the the background also be the shadow. I don't think that I want to give my fairy that peak upwards because it's going to remind me too much of the Fritz Fritz Gerald fairy um, I'm just gonna make like my own rendition of a winged creature And she's like partially hidden behind stems. <coughs> so it, it doesn't like take much to draw her in. It's more like letting your imagination putting in the the whole figure <coughs> How does that look? <coughs> Ok, 
Okay, let me just stick to this to start with. It's a good start, it's a good start. <coughs> I don't think that I need to brighten up more than it already is. So I'm just going to apply some small highlights here and there. Hmm. Sorry for being so silent. <laughs> Just, I don't know. <coughs> you know how it is. You know how it is when you start sketching and drawing and you kind of disappear into your silence. Yeah, I'm simply just adding more and more white to enhance the the white. Because <coughs> gesso is drying up, losing a little bit of its opaqueness. So I'm just uh, simply just refreshing. Maybe the wings here would be more visible like this. Yeah, I like it. You can't really tell what it is, and yet you can, because, uh, yeah, you just can. <laughs> Let me try and get in that black dot at the eye, and then it will become more clear what it is. I think I should do that with a Sharpie, actually, because uh, it's very intricate. See what I mean? Like you get that tiny, this tiny, tiny of an eye, and then maybe if I could have, oh, hang on, I got this oil pastel from Cenelia, and I was thinking if I added a little bit on my finger, I could dab on some blush. And because it's on my finger, I can kind of control it more, is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> and I can even push it back with some white. Taking its shape. Very lovely, I love it. <coughs> yeah, surprisingly, it, it's not much it took to put in the fairy. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think I would say that it's finished. Let me put it down on the table. And I'll come in with some, 
some Posca. Um, let me shake up a pen and make it ready. Yeah, I couldn't make a Posca pen work. <laughs> so instead I'm just taking some uh, Liquitex white acrylic ink and then a skewer. And then with the tip of the skewer, I'm planning to drop in some spots of white. Hmm. Yeah, I s got a love-hate relationship to that camera arm. I cannot get it to focus further down. <laughs> but I just want to drop in spots of white specks. Yeah, it's just making it a little bit more mystic. <laughs> or maybe like, I don't know, hair or something. And it's because uh, the original fairy from Fritz Gerald had like antennas with white on the end. And I kind of like that, like a, a crown. So maybe I'll try the same here. I got somebody who bought a flute and kind of go crazy outside in my street. I'm not sure if this uh, recording is picking it up. <laughs> you guys can't see. Okay, what if I push down my camera with force and hold it with my hand? Then see if, if you guys can see what I'm doing here. Basically just dipping the tip of the skewer into the white ink and uh, trying to draw with it and since it's an imaginary creature I don't have to aim for something human I'm giving the person a little bit more pronounced nose tip and maybe a little bit more highlight right here on the chest I like the scratchy scratchy sound that it makes. Now this guy with a drum showed up to the same street party. <laughs> I hope it's not interfering too much with my recording. But man, he's in love with that flute. He's gonna use that flute every day. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I would say that my um, painting is finished now. I like it. I like it a lot. You have to really embrace that very shiny look it has. So if you do like glittery stuff and this is not up your alley <laughs> but I kind of like that um, that it's very special to look at where the light is hitting it it gets these uh, reflections <clears throat> and I adore that really chunky rich texture so yeah <laughs> reminds me a little bit of if I had to paint some sort of really fat fabric you know <laughs> like plush like uh i don't know what, what to call it um yeah some something with dimension <laughs> so thanks for watching 
I wish you a nice summer. And like I said, I'm going to be totally irregular from now on because we got some something uh, planned in our in our schedule that's interfering with my Fridays. So uh, let me just do uploads like these, and then uh, hopefully when summer tunes down, I can return to a more strict uh, Friday routine. <laughs> so bye bye.